that time of the year again, the time in Israel when everything stops, when businesses close, when no cars are seen on the road, when people dress in white and a national atonement day is announced. It's the time for the holiest day of the year for Jews, the holiday of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the holiest day in the Jewish religion. It's a day when we pray to God that everything we did on the new year will be heard and be acted upon by the Almighty. Yom Kippur is the essence of being Jewish and the difference between Israel and anywhere else in the diaspora is that in Israel you would feel Yom Kippur whether you fast or not. Everything is quiet and you feel the holiness wherever you are. Yom Kippur to me is like start a new year, totally fresh, totally new, and try to be so from the mistake we done, since we think about all the mistake we've done last, we've done last year, to start from zero again and try to be a better person. I think it's the one day that everything stops and uh, something Jewish comes uh, must come out. Uh, is, uh, <laughs> you, you can see it. Israel is a melting pot of people with various backgrounds, and so naturally there are many traditions before, during, and after the holidays fast. The traditions I keep is fast, and I pray. I pray for me, for the family. And thank God that we are here in this wonderful country. I fast, my family fast from the age of 12 onwards. We are part uh, Sephardi, part Ashkenazi, so one part wants to uh, drink uh, alcohol with uh, honey uh, cake, and the other, let's go and eat. So we're doing something in the middle. Before my mom does a big couscous because it's easy to keep water and also you don't need to eat. So just eat just before, like an hour before, just we get ready. We, we, dress, we dress like quite fancy, smart for Yom Kippur. And we go like to the synagogue for the night. We pray, we pray, we pray. We sleep in the morning and we, we pray again. <laughs> We have some uh, kind of uh, secular traditions uh, because everything quiets down and everybody's uh, out. So we go out and meet uh, all our neighbors and uh, people from the street and we travel a lot by foot and everyone's out and on bikes, uh, the kids are on bikes. Uh, this is probably the, the main tradition. Oh, we rest, we read books, uh, newspapers, that's it. Whether you're religious or not, the holiday of Yom Kippur is definitely felt by everyone around in Israel. It's part of life, part of being Israel. You feel Yom Kippur even if you're not doing Yom Kippur at all, and you have this feeling like even non-religious people I know come from the last minutes to see the shofar. And just like really the idea of, I don't know, like to feel Yom Kippur, it's like starting really the new year. It's not really Rosh Hashanah, it's like saying it's the new year, but Yom Kippur restarts it from my point of view. It, it doesn't just pass by. I think about it. Everything stops and it becomes very quiet, so you feel it's a special day. When Kippur is over, the shofar is blown, marking the end of the fast and the beginning of one's destined year. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.